China is currently experiencing the most severe heat wave ever recorded on Earth. For the past two and a half months, China has seen record high temperatures, only for those records to be broken by even higher temperatures the next day. This heat wave is wreaking havoc on the electrical power industry across the country as cities are forced to dim the lights and unplug the AC to conserve power. Planned blackouts have been implemented, even plunging the city of Shanghai and its beautiful skyline into complete darkness. For China of 50 years ago, these struggles may have been commonplace. But how did things get this bad in a country as powerful as China today? What is China doing to confront this crisis, and how will it affect the rest of the world? This is 5-Minute Stories. Starting in June, the southwestern province of Sichuan in China experienced record high temperatures of well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Such temperatures are not a problem when they are spaced out throughout the year, but the heat has been unending for the 80 million people living in the province. The days have been absolutely scorching, and the nights offer no relief, with temperatures recently falling to a low of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, the coolest it got throughout an entire 24-hour period was 95 degrees. And that was a record low for the month of August. This truly is an unprecedented heat wave in recorded history. The real problem with this heat wave, however, has been the significant power shortages caused by it. You see, in Sichuan province, 80% of the electricity consumed is produced by hydropower stations. In fact, 17% of China's total electricity comes from hydropower. And that number is increasing every year as China moves to become more green. In 2020, President Xi Jinping pledged that China would be carbon neutral by the year 2060. He also agreed in the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement that China would reach peak carbon emissions by 2030 or sooner. As a result, China is constantly constructing new green infrastructure such as dams, solar farms, and windmills. Experts welcomed the new reforms as China is the number one producer of greenhouse gases in the world. All of this sounds great, until a massive heat wave that has never been seen in recorded history strikes your largest hydropower generator. In China's largest city, Chongqing, entire rivers are almost completely dried up. Poyang Lake, the country's largest freshwater lake, has shrunk by over two-thirds because of the scalding heat. Reservoirs and other bodies of water are at record low levels, meaning that the hydropower electricity production has plummeted. Sichuan hydropower stations produced only 50% as much electricity this month as they did at the same time last year. To make matters worse, most of the electricity normally produced by these stations is not even used by Sichuan province itself. The electricity is exported to other provinces throughout the country, which is why the power shortage has struck everyone hard. In an effort to decrease electricity consumption, the government has introduced planned blackouts across the country, leaving entire cities without power for hours at a time. Air conditioning systems have been unplugged across the country despite the constant high temperatures. For people who have grown used to the modern amenities in life, this has been a shock, even reminding older citizens of life before the meteoric rise of the Chinese economy. In addition to limiting electricity consumption, China is also boosting electricity production through less green means. Coal-fired power plants have been working overtime to keep up with demand. In Sichuan, all coal power plants are firing on all cylinders, according to the state media. One power plant in the province said that they expect production to be up 313% compared to last year. To feed these hungry power plants, Sichuan Coal Industry Group, the largest coal miner in the province, has more than doubled its coal mining operations in the past month. This dramatic increase in coal mining and burning is a reasonable solution in the short term. But many renewable energy advocates argue that this uptick in the coal industry will give the industry more leverage with the government to keep coal consumption high in the future. The worry is that coal companies will use the fear of another heat wave and drought to justify building more coal-fired power plants. The thought of permanently increasing coal production in a country that already produces 27% of global emissions is alarming to anyone who hopes to see a more renewable future on Earth. Despite these fears, China appears to remain committed to renewable energy as it is stepping up construction of wind and solar farms throughout the country. In fact, China already operates about 40% of the total wind and solar electricity production in the world. 
It seems as though China will remain on track with its carbon emission goals. The only worry is that the damage to the atmosphere is already done, and these record-breaking heat waves will become the new normal.